the backscatter is a straight downgrade. Okay, well, really, it's a situational side grade usable in certain specific situations, but that's not going to attract your attention as much as saying the backscatter sucks, is it? The weapon itself has been a total meme in the TF2 community since its inception, and it may have gotten me kicked off of my Sixes team, indirectly, but that's besides the point of this video. This video is attempting to put something in your mind. Theoretically, and hear me out here, what if the backscatter wasn't the worst scout primary? I know, I know, heresy does scout means everywhere, but as a dedicated scout main, and a person who is really desperate to put anything on the table that could be an alternative to the god's given grace of the scattergun, I want to really, genuinely start a discussion about a new and interesting idea here. Using the backscatter as more than just a meme weapon. I'll put some more in-depth strategies in your mind shortly, but for now, let's go over the actual basic stats of the gun. The Backscatter's primary gimmick is that it does mini crits when behind a target at close range. This being the weapon's only upside, the other two major stats are flaunting a 34% reduction in clip size amounting to having 4 remaining shots in your clip, and a 20% accuracy penalty meaning a wider spread and a much lower chance of all your pellets connecting at any sort of distance. Speaking of distance, close range is an undefined stat by the TF team and could really be anything, so I decided to put it to the test on a good old item test server. Now, I'm totally not going to calculate the exact hammer units, so let's do this sort of unscientifically. When you're literally as close as you can be to this bot's back, it does full mini crits at about 135 to 145 damage. When you're in close-ish range, but not quite at their back, it still does mini crits and roughly similar damage of 120 to 135. When you're at medium range, it still does mini crit, but due to the accuracy penalty, which will be discussed a little more later, it seemingly does anywhere from 60 to 100 damage max. When at longer range, however, the mini crits completely stop and it can barely reach 15 damage. Thus, my theory is proven. The weapon is fantastic in situations in which you are actively flanking and are behind the enemy while remaining undetected, but in most other situations which are far more common, the weapon is essentially a straight downgrade. Some situations I believe the backscatter could find itself a use, however, aren't really as rare as you might think. For example, think about the last time you went pubbing. Players are pretty oblivious in pubs, and it's fairly easy to flank without them the enemy noticing on most maps. In pubs, you could easily scatter some backs by just taking an alternative route and doing 140 to most likely at least two enemies. The strategy holds up fine in pubs, and I actually find this weapon to be a blast to play with when you're playing against lower skilled players who don't quite have the awareness to notice the fast man jumping past them in the corner of their screen, and shortly thereafter, dropping them instantly. The weapon, at close range, can instantly kill any light classes, meaning scout, oh, engineer, up, sniper, and spy, which in my opinion makes this weapon a fantastic way to embarrass snipers, and a decent spy counter if you're a jumpy enough scout. Unfortunately, you probably won't be not only behind a scout, but close enough to ever do enough damage to instantly kill them in most situations, so... Uh, another situation in which I could find it useful competitively is if you're going to send in a double sack. For example, your scout comes up backscatter. The roamer passively spams behind the medic as the scout ideally slips by unnoticed. Then he appears behind the medic and does 140 damage, instantly killing him. That med drops the uber charge, allowing your team to push, as you traded your scout for their medic and hopefully your roamer didn't die, you could potentially win the game off of that push. In my opinion, the backscatter could work fantastically at either really low levels of play, where most players are very equal skill level besides a few outliers, or at incredibly high levels of play where one player is theoretically far more skilled than another one and can get something done with it. However, none of these factors are really something you can bank on to make the weapon good. A single situation in which the weapon would fare better than the scattergun, and having the situation rely completely on a player being higher skilled than an enemy doesn't make the weapon good, it makes the player good and the situation fortunate. Honestly, I'm not really trying to convince you that the backscatter is a good weapon, because in its current state, it really isn't. The few situations it's an upgrade to stock can be argued against, and it's extremely rare in a competitive environment that a player could and should ever get away with such a brazen play as a scout roamer double sack. I'm just trying to convince you that it's a fun weapon to use in pubs, and theoretically, a unique and situational alternative to the scout's classic scattergun in competitive. The weapon, with its current stats, is practically a downgrade to the scattergun, but what if it wasn't?
I have a few ideas in mind to make the Basketter a more competitively viable weapon. There's always the idea of simply replacing the accuracy penalty with a flat damage penalty, maybe minus 10 or minus 15%, because with the accuracy penalty it may as well already have a minus 50% damage penalty when you're anywhere but medium or short range, which makes it worthless for denying bombers or any sort of bullet spam. That's a solution I would take, but I don't think would necessarily make it any more competitively viable, although it would definitely help. That's what I call the let me do damage again version of the backscatter. The middle ground, or the dude where's my med option, goes something like this. From behind, the weapon does full criticals, roughly uh, 180 damage base, and can instantly kill most classes in the game. In exchange, we keep the accuracy penalty at a flat 20%, and we change the ammo penalty to 50%, making it a comfy Frontier Justice style weapon for the scout, just with a little bit of a different scout vibe. Definitely radical, and honestly, probably unbalanced as hell, but it sounds fun, doesn't it? Now, my final offer is definitely a bigger change. We completely rework the gun, changing its base stats entirely and working it down from the ground up. I call this option the positively epic version of the backscatter. Now we start with the basics. The weapon does mini crits from behind, from any range. You could be across the map and it would still mini crit. Next we give it another positive, increased accuracy by about 10% making it a great flank spam weapon. The downsides? Three shots a flat 20% damage penalty, and no ability to random crit. I'm not sure if this would actually work at all, but it sounds fun to me and I feel like rather than penalizing accuracy and making the weapon worthless at any distance that isn't close range, allow the weapon to do some damage from far away while keeping it sort of balanced with only 3 shots and a major damage penalty so you can't just do 65 damage from any range. This would be, in my opinion, a ridiculously better version of this weapon, and again, in my opinion, encourage flying scouts worldwide to pick it up as an alternative to the glorious scattergun. In conclusion, I believe the backscatter could be totally awesome, but its current state is kind of a downgrade with only a few cherry pick situations in which the weapon could be particularly useful at all. I encourage you though, pick up the backscatter and try pubbing with it. If you're good enough with it, you'll have a fantastic time and you'll probably feel inclined to go out and buy a strange specialized killstreak team shine backscatter like I did. Yeah, I did that. Anyways, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with your friends, all that jazz. I'll see you all next time.